You're on your way to your daughter's play. Yes. You've missed the last two because of work commitments. And as you're walking to the theatre, you come across a puppy. It seems to have escaped from its place of residence. It's unaccompanied. Do you stop to rescue the puppy or do you leave it to a possible death so that you can get to the theatre on the phone? <laughs> This is an absolutely <laughs> no-win situation, right? The puppy could be fine. The puppy could be fine. And your daughter could forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> I could just lie and say, great show, darling. <laughs> that play was brilliant. But the puppy. OK, the puppy. I would rescue the puppy <gasps> and I would take the puppy into the play. No dogs. No dogs allowed. Mm -mm. I would put the puppy up my jumper. <laughs> <laughs> it's a yes or no on the puppy, it's, Are you just it saying really it's the puppy is. or the play? I am. You're, you're not saying I can find someone to hand the puppy over to hand responsibility You over? don't have any time. I would leave the puppy. OK. <laughs> Oh, my God. I know. Well, where's the puppy? Is it on a road, though? What do you care? <laughs> <laughs> OK. The play is terrible, but you made it. When you arrive home, together, happy, your neighbour's there, distraught. <gasps> because oh. their brand-new puppy has escaped. No, I would never and... leave the puppy. Ever. <laughs> I would never leave a puppy. <laughs> oh, that's so horrible. That's... that's you stitched me up. <laughs> I would never leave something in danger, number one. What if you saw Donald Trump in the gutter with a broken leg? <laughs> like, <laughs> would you...? I'd give him some water, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not totally heartless. <laughs>